G'day everybody, Rusty and the dude Paul Morris back again for 2020 Christmas, the Armour All Summer Grill where we talk about all sorts of things that have happened in the previous season and look ahead to the new one as well. A massive thanks to Tony Longhurst and the Boatworks team for hosting us once again. Got to start with the topic that everyone has spoken about, record breaking year for Scott McLaughlin, what do you think? Yeah, big numbers and, and prove that uh, you know the quality of driver he is, but some controversy amongst it. Everyone kept using that term, probably the naysayers, about the asterisks on the championship. I thought the way that he dealt with it uh, publicly, about just you know eyes forward, don't let the negators kind of get you down, was, was very good. Do you feel that it is, as some have labelled it, tainted in some way? I feel it is, but history will forget about that. The long, I, I go back to 1992 when you had Mark Scaife driving a four-wheel drive Nissan that had parity changes throughout the year, Great still time. won the championship, yep. won Bathurst hanging in the fence, didn't even finish the race, and no one remembers that. They just remember that he won the championship and he won Bathurst. So I think time will fix all that up and he'll remember for the championship championship drive he had. A positive for me is, even if we don't like all the, the negative socials, is that yep. everyone was talking about it, mate. And that's actually been in a... In a uh, Fans an odd are way. engaged. Yeah, they're engaged, aren't they? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And passionately engaged. Like, yep. the, there's, some, there's some people that, that yeah, I can see the, the logic. Then there's people that just love that team no matter what, and th and that's good to see. Yeah, we need that sort yeah. of support, don't we? Yeah. I, where I get a bit funny in it all is that I believe in life, whether it's royalty, prime ministers, whatever, you need to respect those that have made it to that position because it takes so long to, to get there. And it, it was an entire championship for Scott, not just one or two events that have stuck in people's minds, the record-breaking run that he had, I think you have to sit back and appreciate the champion and the, and the drive and the, and the contribution he made right throughout 2019. Don't you? Yeah, you, you've got to. And, and all you have to do is look at his effort compared to Fabian's. They're both in the same car and the same team. So there's your yardstick. And, and he did an amazing job, yeah. which he always does. Yeah, you don't have to be a diehard fan of, of the teams or him for, for that matter, but I think you've got to respect what he achieved. So uh, the final kind of question in our first discussion here is 2020. I, I sense that he is going to come back with uh, real strength, hardened perhaps by some of the negative stuff that came from it during the year. Do you agree? Yeah, I, look, you're always learning. Um, he's still a young guy. He's incredibly fast, but the mental game is, is something that, that you get better at the, the more experience you get. I 100% agree with you. He's going to come back tougher up here yep. and look out, everyone else, look out. Will he still be in Australia in 2021, do you reckon? I don't reckon he will be. Mm. No, he's off getting married to his American wife. It's yep. all easy to get a green card if you've got an American wife, isn't it? Wouldn't it be cool? I mean, we'd love to keep him down under. There's no doubt about that, but it'd be very oh, cool to see him. him yeah, you know, see him on the States, you know, yeah. in the States rather, doing his thing. There you go. Episode one of the Armour All Summer Grill. We hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure, of course, you check back in with the Speed Cafe website. Lots of great things coming up, including some Christmas specials and all the latest news as well. Each week, Armour All will be giving away the ultimate Summer Essentials Pack. Each pack comprises a range of products to keep your car looking like new, including the new Armour All Ultra Wash and Wax, Ultra Exterior Detailer, Armour All Ultra Interior Detailer, Ultra High Shine Protectant and Ultra Tire Foam. To enter the draw, simply subscribe at speedcafe.com in the sign up box below this video. It's that easy. And we'll have another episode of the Armour All Summer Grill tomorrow. We all pride ourselves on keeping our car looking like new. This is why I use Armorall. Armorall's new Ultra range uses premium technology, so you'll get the results you want in less time with less effort. Armorall Ultra, looking good, made easy.